when radiation is separated from common sources, a spectrum is produced. In case of white light, the white light produces a continuous spectrum which contains the light of all wavelength, means in the visible region. But in case of elements, elements do not produce a continuous spectrum, rather than they produce a line spectrum or what is known as atomic spectra or atomic spectrum. So a line spectrum represents a fingerprint signature for elements. So the types of spectrum, first is when we are talking about spectrum, then in case of white light, we have continuous spectrum and in case of elements, we have line spectrum. Again, this line spectra can be further divided in two parts, that is absorption line spectrum and second one is emission line spectrum. So continuous spectrum means we are using the white light as source, consider that this is a source of white light or we can produce it by an electric arc, positive and negative terminal. So this is the source of white light and this white light is made to pass through a slit like this one and then after that it is passed through a prism and then finally on a screen or detector. So when the white light emerging from this electric arc is passing through slit and then on the prism then after passing through the prism the light deviates from its path and it scattered or it dispersed light in this manner and a band or spectrum is produced on the screen or detector. So now this spectrum if you observe this spectrum then it contains light of all the wavelengths in visible region. So we have continuous spectrum. But in case if we use element or element in the form of vapor or element in the form of atomic gas, then the object spectrum is not the continuous one but it is a line spectrum. Line spectrum means only few lines are visible on the detector or on the screen. Why it is so? Consider the atomic structure. For example, for simplicity we are considering the hydrogen atom. So nucleus, then n is equal to 1, first orbit, second orbit, third orbit, fourth orbit and so on. So if we consider these orbit, n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4 and so on. Now consider that on this hydrogen atom, light is incident and this incoming light is, let's say, white light. Now, the electron in the ground state can absorb energy and they can make a transit from ground state to other excited state for example n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3 or n is equal to 4. So it may also be possible that for different atoms of hydrogen some atoms are in their ground state, some are there in first excited state, others are there in second or more excited state. So depending on which state they are and depending on the incident light, the electron may absorb energy and they can make a transit either from ground state to first excited state or from ground state to second excited state or higher excited states. So, in doing so,